This problem has two parts, really, but it's the same type of problem. A mixed K is what I call them, type of problems. So, we have this. This is a solid. In, well, pHs are both below 7, so it's not written explicitly, but it's in H3O+, because they're both acids. Okay? So we want to see, same as before, how much this will dissolve in acid. And we're going to do rain, which is slightly acidic anyways, regular rain. And then acid rain has one pH unit lower. So it's ten times uh, more of these. Okay, so to set this up, same thing with a mixed K problem. Calcium carbonate, that's a solid you need to be able to write your KSP. Thanks. Uh, so you should be able to do this for anything. That's calcium 2 plus aqueous plus carbonate. You just separate the ions. They both go to the aqueous phase, starts off in the solid phase. Now, once you figured out that it's in acid because the pH is less than 7, so if you see the pH less than 7, you're, you're an acid. That's something you can know now if you didn't realize it. If it's above 7, this would be not H3O plus but OH minus. So whatever that thing is that you're in, you write it here because it's going to react. This happens to be an acid, so I'm looking for a base in my products. Here's the base. The thing that's negative is going to be the base. So, uh, put these two together, and you, just like before, have to be able to write the products of any acid-base reaction. So the acid loses a proton, becomes water. The base gains a proton. So for any acid base reaction, you should be able to do something like that. The top one is a solubility, so I'm going to write KSP. You can look the KSP up in your book. Uh, if you needed it, if it's given, you're okay. You can look it up in a table. You could probably like type it on Wikipedia and find it online too. So it's all over the place, I'm sure. Here now, you have to recognize what type of reaction I have. The key is to look for the water in the reaction. You see, you'd like before it's in the products. So it's the reverse of one of these two. Okay? So you just have to figure out, okay, is this an acid or base? Well, this is going to lose a proton. So it has to be an acid. So I'm looking at the top reaction here. Okay? So this is a Ka. But it's going backwards, so I'm going to go to the minus 1. KAs and KBs, you also can look up in your book if they're not given. Uh, this is a very particular KA, though, that you would have to label in order to be able to find. It's going to be in a very particular place in your book if you're looking for it. And the reason is, this can hold more than one proton. So I'll write below what I'm talking about. I'm going to write it in reverse. That comes from carbonic acid, which plus water goes to HCO3 plus H3O+. Plus. That's the first loss of the proton. And that's called a Ka1. The second loss of the proton takes that thing in the products plus water again goes to CO3 to minus plus H3O plus K2. So you'd have to recognize this as a polyprotic acid. That's the key. Because this is not just Ka, it's Ka2. So this is the reverse of the Ka2 reaction. Okay? That's what you'd have to figure out. So now I'm going to erase this on the bottom, is that okay?
Now, once you get used to, like, oh, that's a polyprotic. So when you look it up in your book, you have to go to the polyprotic section in your book. And that's where it would be listed. So you have to say, oh, when I add this up now, just like before, the thing that's in both reactions will cancel. That's really going to be an intermediate. So you got calcium carbonate, solid, plus H3O plus, goes to calcium aqueous plus the hydrogen carbonate plus, let's say this, water to liquid. And the K, is good, K total is going to be Ksp over Ka2 because you just multiply them when you add the reactions. This times this. Oh, but because it's a negative U. I just wrote it on the bottom. You could write Ksp times Ka2 to the minus 1, same thing. And then, ice table. I, C, E. This is just like before, just from chapter 15, same thing. Uh, so at this point, ignore solids and liquids, just like we've been doing the whole quarter. And then you figure out, what do I have the numerical value for? Well, you see in the problem, there's only one. There's two parts to this problem, part A and part B. For part A, it's this is a pH. Well, I don't need pH. I need this. H3O plus is 10 to the minus pH. Or pH is negative log H3O plus. So what you'd want to put here is the value, and you can calculate on your calculator, 10 to the minus pH power. If you're doing part A, you put 10 to the minus 5.6. If you're doing part B, you put 10 to the minus 4.2. Don't have these numbers, so they're 0. There you go, minus x, plus x, plus x. You're going to solve for x, that's the solubility. You know the k's because you can look them up if they're not given, and so on. Okay. What I did when I solved it, I just left it as 10 to the minus pH to the very end, and then I plugged in the numbers at the very end. But you could do it however you like. Any questions on this one?